I heard from somebody at SpaceX that he was shown my stuff yeah. and he didn't get it. You know Dar Man videos? The most primal revenge feelings that are welling up inside people who work retail, they work at gas stations, they're unemployed. <laughs> the baby guy was coming to him because he ain't know that there was no ham. I just rewatched the iDubs doc and realized how cringe the whole meta irony thing is. The meta irony section was ill advised. It was probably her just being afraid people would uh, think that he was affiliated with me or something. This video oh, yeah. Been making the rounds. That's all right. Remind right. me to copyright claim this later so that we can get ad revenue and re upload it. Hey, oh, whoa, whoa, slow down there, chief <laughs> running back. All right, just kidding. Oh, me brave, me redskin, very brave. Them now, hold on a second. This Look at this little dweeb already on his phone, already recording. His angle was. Are you, you guys are gonna, you're, I'm gonna get in trouble with my insurance. You're not allowed to be here. Cause technically, I can't tell you what's in here. Oh, hi. How you doing? Who's How's in charge here? Uh, me. Okay, my name's Larry Ballin. I'm the administrative manager <laughs> the here. Fact, okay. Is the this like commercial you have production? All the prosthetic makeup. No, this, no, no, it's a YouTube. Like this eye to eye interaction. Asking someone who's in charge here? Obviously, the guy with the oh hi prosthetic How you nose. Who's in charge, charge here? Uh, me. Okay, my name is Larry Ballin. I'm the administrative manager here. Okay. Is this a commercial production you do? No, no, no. It's a YouTube video. We asked the. We'll, 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 of course, we'll leave if you want us to leave. But we asked uh, if it was okay. It's just for YouTube. And who did you ask? Uh, there were four people over by that um, house, there that we asked. Okay. Yeah. If you're gonna be doing <laughs> stuff like this, I really need a certificate of insurance. Okay. From you guys to we, do this stuff. We a certificate of insurance. And I just wanted them to sh I wanted them to shut up because we were done we were done filming and I just wanted to get because we had uh, guns and I just wanted them to to like not call the police. I wanted him to like shut up, let us get out of here. We were done filming anyway, and he just goes into this whole like acting like my mother thing. With the in, this <laughs> certificate of insurance, you can leave, or if, if you, you want know, us to just not be on the track, we can do that. It's no, totally your call. Well, it, it sounds like he's wearing like, like, like the Home Depot mask. He's not even wearing. Oh, yeah. like You're about to wrap it up in like 15 yeah, minutes. He's wearing like okay. that. Well, maybe it's better if you wrap mask. it up now. Okay. I don't, I don't mean to be a jerk about no, it. That's okay. It's your, it's your normal behavior for a farm museum. Sure. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? And at this point now, I know he's like. Uh, would I agree that it's not normal behavior for a farm museum? Yeah. Are you recording me saying that? No, I'm taking pictures. Okay. Um, <laughs> I can pull it up. Yeah, and then they his, started getting mad, like. Shit and then his, his friend goes, I can record it. Do you want to get antagonistic? No, nobody's no, getting antagonistic. Okay, because you're the guy that was making smart little jokes earlier about the frogs. Okay. If you want us to leave, <laughs> just ask us to leave. Yeah, we're I not. Think, well, now that's I think fine. That's where we're at. Have you got a business card or anything? We're making a YouTube video. Why would we have a business card? I'm just asking a question, my friend. All right. We wear let's, masks. Let's pack it in. Right now, with everything going you're on. You're funny. You should do comedy. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You want to join a comedy troupe? I'd love to. You could do your frog routine all day long. <laughs> wow, man. I wish, because the, the the we had, we didn't want to get police called. Get a hot way. I hate that. That guy that, the guy that was, said, the we could, I could record it. I want to go f with that guy for the next four years. Hard to please. And just not do it, and not do world peace. I'm not gonna do world <laughs> peace. I just want, I'm gonna become schizophrenically obsessed with this that guy. We there were like frogs on the side of the road, and this this guy came up, and he was he was trying to figure out what we were doing there with camera equipment, but his way of breaking the ice was to say, "Hey, you got you're playing with some little frogs there. You're playing with some <laughs> little frogs," and uh, like. In, instead of being like, hey, what are you guys doing? He wanted to be kind of funny and light, but the way that he did it was with these really bad jokes that he wouldn't let up on. The people who let the Big Bang Theory cadence slip in and, the, and that, that style, uh, let's just say we don't do that, Jeremy. Yeah, in real life. Um, I'm thinking we don't need to go there. <laughs> <laughs> when a TV show is really good, I'll watch a ass TV show, I'll watch Grey's Anatomy. Cause that's that's what inspired the Great War. Yeah, was like how how terrible the dialogue in Grey's Anatomy is. Like if I need if I need to turn my brain off at ten p.m., I'll watch Grey's Anatomy. I don't care. But people who get invested in shows, yeah, and they're like, oh, have you seen what's the show they like? What's the, is there a show called Billions? Thinking like Stranger Things. 
Wednesday. I'm just so, the show's just so good. A show's like 20 hours. Yeah. It's not like a movie, okay? Yeah. It's not like something where you can just, uh, yeah, a movie is so good because in, in two and a half hours, you can go back to being like a normal person with life. You don't have to spend a week of your free time like consuming this thing. The show's so good. I can't wait to watch more of my show. Why don't you start talking and tell me what you want? $50,000. <laughs> Brian Cranston's fine. Think of that. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. And also, if you watch it at 60 FPS, it'll really destroy the cinema magic glue that makes it feel like unreality. If the 60 FPS clips are white, when you really the devil. see that it's terrible. That show is garbage. You don't like Breaking Bad? Do you like Breaking Bad? Yeah. Man. I like uh, Better Call Saul better. Have you seen Better Call Saul? Yeah, it's garbage. Come on, Sam. <laughs> well, what didn't you like about it, though? Dude. It's just like low down and dirty, like life porn. Like how low can you get? Yeah. And then the acting, it's um, because I've never, I've only seen, I think I watched the first full episode and it was just kind of boring. But I, the, what I have seen a lot of is like clips. And the reason I don't like it is because it's the perfect show for YouTube shorts. Yeah. And the, the ideal YouTube short, you know, you, you know, people in blinders and. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So Peaky, it's it's a it's a gay. <laughs> not Brian Cranston is not gay, but the people on Peaky Blinders are gay. Yeah, it's a gay Hollywood actor who has never been in any kind of violent situation or whatever. Yeah, going and it's a fifth. It's a forty-five second video, and it's always you know Dar Man videos. Yeah. So the Dar Man, the format for a Dar Man video is a is there'll be a black guy waiting at an ATM. And a white guy will step up and go, hey, get away from the ATM. I need to use this. I'm white. And then a, uh, another white guy will come up and go, tap, tap on the shoulder. No, you don't do tell him to do that because you're white. He's black and was in line first. Let him go. And then there's four million Indian people who watch this and go, yes, that is how it is. We don't, cannot use ATM fast with the white people around us. He's very racist. I like this. He got what is coming to him. And there's videos like the, the vast majority. And I don't, and listen, I used to be, I used to, I had, I went through a cynical Redditor phase where I was like, oh, humanity's, humanity's so screwed. We're all screwed. God's not real. And then I was like, oh, maybe I need to lower my, um, maybe I need to le eject some of this hubris and thinking highly of myself and all this stuff. However, it is true. There is this like teeming horde of glop people. Yeah. And if you look at any, like a video on Facebook, it's on Facebook and YouTube shorts, like a video where the punchline is a baby getting kicked in the head and there'll be a thousand comments from Shaniqua, and all and everybody else and I was like, hey, the baby guy was coming to him because he ain't know that there was no ham. I down sh shaking my motherfucking head. It was crazy when that baby got kicked in the head. Baby tried to open the door and then got hurt. Ha <laughs> ha. That type of shit. Yeah. A, a Brazilian street dog trying to eat a man's sandwich and then the, the man shoots the dog and he runs away. <laughs> a million people sideways. That, that crazy. The dog that got shot is so crazy. Dude, the numbers, the numbers are crazy. And the Dar Man videos, the numbers are crazy. You ever see cartoons of like a, a guy playing an accordion or something? There's a monkey yeah. with cymbals? Yeah. That's, that's like that. Yeah. It's, like a, it's like a guy with an accordion and a monkey with cymbals. Oh, really man. Here's his house. <laughs> this is his favorite house. The fantasy of this guy who's got $1 is to live in total isolation on a rock. I mean, that's, I mean, you should live in total isolation on a rock. I just rewatched the iDubbbz doc and realized how cringe the whole meta irony thing is. Uh, what do you think his intention was with this segment? Cleaning up the mess, trying to put some kind of spin on it so he doesn't look like a freak, I don't know. The meta irony section was ill-advised, whoever told them to put that in. But to be honest, it's probably his wife. It's probably her. What if they don't get it? Yeah, it was probably, it was probably her just being afraid people would, uh, think that he was affiliated with me or something. I think he assumes that the audience is like really stupid. Yeah, for and sure. They're, they're not like he definitely assumes the lowest uh, the lowest possible thing for his audience. 
When Idubs brings up Danny in front of Nick, he makes a face like he doesn't know what's going on, but quickly turns to a smile. Is that him picking up on your ruse? I th- no, I think Idubs has this thing where when he feels, um, anytime he feels the heat, he starts to put on a smile. Yeah. Did you notice that when he was yes, out here? Yeah. Like he'll start, he'll put on a, he'll put on a, a wry, knowing smile when he has no idea what's going on. It's just like his default defense mechanism. Yeah, like. Am I about to look like an asshole? I, I know was, what's. I actually know what's going on. I think Dan. I think uh, Danny J. Bauer was talking about Nick. Nick's smile. I we brought were, up Danny to Nick when he interviewed him. Oh yeah. And Nick just kind of like had a confused <laughs> smile. Did Nick even know what was going on? No, I think Nick just knew that I was doing some bull. <laughs> 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 Apparently, uh, Elon has seen my stuff. Really? Did I say that publicly? No, that's he's, the first time I've heard that. He's. I've, I heard from somebody who worked at SpaceX very high up that he was shown my stuff yeah. and he didn't get it. Uh. <laughs> Which is real funny. That's that's the funniest <laughs> possible outcome. He's just like the type of European guy that as far as memes go for him, it's just like doge. Mm-hmm. That, that's mad European people. But I, I, I love that though. Yeah, it's funny. It'd be too weird if he was a fan. Yeah, no, it would, it would, I'd be too, it would make me too powerful if Elon was a fan of my show. I don't get it. <laughs> if anytime you see something European or foreign, it's a deep dive. And uh, man, the soccer people too, man. Because the average soccer fan has a, has a net worth of $1 USD. There's infinity people of them. And here we are right here. This is like a, this is a segment of Twitter that we would never have seen, that we never have access to. Peaky Blinders, Breaking Bad. I'm sorry, I know how it's so badass that, it, that the guy made the cleanest meth that has ever been made. It's so badass. But the, the format of the YouTube shorts is... Oh, stop, 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 stop. I'm going to give you one chance to get out of this situation. But if you say the wrong thing, it's over. Cut to... I didn't know it was like that, Holmes. I'll go check in with the FBI operative soon. But you didn't know that I was secretly the badass the whole time. And now you're going to die. Stop. Hold on a second. (laughs) No! And it's so, it's just what it is. I think it's, um, it's the most primal, basic, like revenge feelings that are welling up inside people who work retail. They work at gas stations. They're unemployed. And they have this sort of vague sense that life, that the world is conspiring against them to rob them, which it is. And what they think is, what they want it to be like is they want to imagine that a bil- there's a billionaire who cuts in front of them in line at 7-Eleven and they somehow have the justification to like shoot the billionaire in the chest 